Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. And as you guys know, we finally maxed on leagues and we ended the last episode on 47,630 total points. The whole point of this episode and everything leading forward is to increase the total point value. I haven't been focusing on it too much, but from now on that changes. But at the same time, man, if you look at my character, the armadil chaps need to go. We need to get Mazori legs and that crossbow needs to go. We need to get the Nihil horn. We need to upgrade it to a Zerite crossbow. And then we actually finalize our full beast range gear. And from that point on is just full on fun. So that being said, welcome to another Leagues episode and let's get right into it. Now that we're maxed, I really have no excuse not to grind out the next. So let's go ahead and uh, hopefully pull a horn. But honestly, I'd be okay with Torva pieces as well. All right, here we go. A little solo next situation. Can we get lucky? Not on the first kill. We are 139 and for the last like 50 kills in a row, I've probably done all of them solo. Even more, I'd say. But I'm motivated now. I'm motivated. I'm maxed. Got nothing else to do. I think we're gonna get it. Here we go. Another solo next. Come on. I need an item. Like, it's time, man. It's really time I get something, bro. Aye, aye, aye. Eight minute kills right now. Not the fastest, but we keep it coming. KC number three of the day. Let's take a look. Ooh, 93 Nihil Shards. That's actually really good. I do have enough for the horn already. But I need to make some potions out of some of these. So I do think this is going to be the right amount right now. I'm currently in the mood to grind out some point tasks. And I'm starting with beginner clue scrolls. It's a bit random, but I need three uniques. So we open. If it's not uniques, we move on. And we just hope to see a pop-up. And this is nice because we're also getting uh, easy caskets out of this. And I think I'm going to do like 10 to 15 at a time is what I'm thinking right now. That's beautiful. I think I'm missing two now. Shoulder parrot obtained. Very good. And another shoulder parrot there. And another shoulder parrot there. Alright. Lots on the floor. I know for a fact I'm missing a lot of points when it comes to easy clue scrolls. So there is 40 points for free. Okay, nothing too crazy from that. I didn't think this would happen, but with that easy clue scroll, I actually complete my first page. Looking at this, I have a full Sara page basically ready to be completed. I just need to figure out how to do this thing, but that is really decent, by the way. Okay, we got the Sara page. We chuck all of our pages in this. And just like that, God book for 200 points. We're now up to 47, almost 48,000 points. Sick. We got a few more. Let's uh, see how it goes. Probably just, oh, aha, 35 unique items. Okay, so this one's now over and all we need is now two completely brand new uniques. And I'm missing two different uh, feet, basically, the demon feet and the frog feet. Oh, and now we are only missing demon feet, which is actually really good. Uh, but missing one item can be sketchy, not gonna lie. I've been thinking, yeah. since I have like 1,800 beginner clues in my bank, could I just do this? Check if it's the right one and just keep dropping them. I wonder how many. I, I'm okay wasting a few of this. Or I might take the Varok one. Like somewhere, like maybe I just do all the Varok steps because Varok center, right? If I just analyze it. We got Apothecary. We got this shop, this shop and the guy down here. So maybe if I just do only Varok steps, only these four steps, that could be a really fast and like super fast way to get these beginners done. That's what I'm thinking right now. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing beginners. So this one I wouldn't do because it's a run, right? So this one I would definitely do. So that, that's the idea I have. Everything is a one stepper, right? So Gertrude... She's pretty close, but like, you know, we can milk it a bit. Grand exchange, you know what I mean? I don't know if this is worth it though, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, this one is literally right here. Okay, I need to figure out which ones would be worth doing, but this could actually be generally a useful uh, way to get these clues done. Okay, let's take a look if we get lucky on this one. So we're just looking for that pop-up. I don't know if I can get easy caskets. Uh, I don't want to like clog the inventory where I cannot roll an easy clue, if that makes sense. Shoulder parrot, nope, nope. Oh my god, we're done. We're literally done. I do believe this should be all the points, right? Fill every beginner clue collection slot. So all of these here for the boys. 
There, completely useless. Didn't get a single cask, and I don't think so. I do believe you need to have space in your inventory to get upgraded clue scrolls. Regardless, we've completed beginners, and how many do I have left over? Just a measly 1.2k. All right, well, let's move on to something else, I guess. Today, I learned that you can store multiple. I thought the one was the limit. I could store unlimited stuff in here. What? Dude, I did not know. I dropped all of them, but it would be kind of cool to throw them all in the bank next time. Damn, I had no idea. I ended up spending a lot of time organizing my bank because I didn't know I can just do this. Like, this is, this saves me so much space, by the way. Like, this is, this is solid. Uh, so now, it's gonna be just a dance between Clue Scrolls, Nex, and TOA. Uh, because, well, those are my top priorities at the moment. But I think it's kind of late. I'm kind of vibing. I think I'll do a few more clue scrolls. Okay, this would for sure work. I need to steal pickaxe from these two clues. That is not it. That is not it. But I'm getting a lot of pop-ups probably. And that is not it either. However, I have completed 350 collection log slots for 200 points. And this is where all these easy clues come in really handy because I get collection log slot pop-ups all the time because I've basically done almost no easy clue scrolls. I noticed I had seven giant keys and on this account I never even killed Obor. So I'm going to do all the combat achievements very quickly and see how many of them I can do at once. And then we open the clue scrolls and then I'm actually going to do something more interesting. Most likely back to next because I really want to get a crossbow. Uh, but we'll Oh my god, I kill it so fast. I need to entangle it first. All right, well, this is going to be quick. Okay, and just, just like that, we've actually done everything already. All I need is 5kc. Let's go out and in, out and in, and maybe I can land on a hill giants club, which is also a pointer. That is all the Obor tasks completed. Now we just need the hill giant club from here, which is, I think, a little bit rare. Quickly opening these easy caskets. Two uniques. Probably one unique. One unique, two uniques actually. And as you guys noticed earlier, I am always trying to have inventory space to make sure I guarantee a chance of getting, well, more loot, which makes this a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, but still got two more. One, two, three, four uniques. This is phenomenal. And we also filled 20 easy clue collection log slots. One is to fill 50, which gives 200 points. This one is an 80 pointer, which seems extremely easy to get. And again, one, two, three uniques in that one. And again, one, two. Dude, easies seem to be the way to go uh, for all of these collection log slots. Very solid, honestly, not gonna lie. So we're gonna throw all of these into our bank. Oh, and I have one more. Let's try another one. Flare trousers and black skirt tee. So that took no time at all. I gained 35 unique items as well. And my points almost skyrocketed to 48.6. That is really decent. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Good morning. We got ourselves 10 elite caskets right now. There's quite a lot of tasks by filling up the elite collection log slots as well. And then after this, I do believe it is enough of clue scrolls in order for us to do a little bit more next, most likely. But let's begin. Start off with the light infinity color kit. And there it is. This is the one I was talking about. I didn't know I was this close. 25 elite uh, unique items. And that was 200 points for free. We got a master clue in that one. I'll try to complete that. Two uniques here, which is pretty solid. Another musketeer head, that's pretty good as well. So again, for these ones, I need to be careful to have inventory space. Because if I have the inventory space, then I can actually pull master caskets. So we're going to throw all of the uniques in this right here. And we still have seven more. So let's take a look. Any uniques here? Maybe Arma page? Never mind. You see this field 10 elite clue collection log slots? Also an 80 pointer. No uniques here though. Elites are so bad, even in leagues. Deerstalker is another unique one. We'll take it. And uh, Sarah page 3, I don't think is unique. Other one, Dragon Mask, that's new. I mean, anything that's new we'll take, of course. But like, these loots are so bad, by the way, from elites. What I'm really hoping for is the elite to upgrade into a master, but it's not really happening. Uh, this one is just straight up nothing. Magic seed, I guess, but we're already 99 farming. Pendos page is not new, unfortunately. Uh, Dragon Full Helm Ornament Kit apparently already had that. That's crazy, by the way. Okay, we got two more. Let's see if we get something. Musketeer Pants, we'll take it. Palm Tree Seed, not too bad. And last one, we take another Dragon Square Shield Ornament Kit. We did pull quite a lot of new items, though. So, it wasn't the worst. The loot was really bad, it always is. 
I might uh, try and see if I can complete this master and if I can I'll do it and if I can't I will figure it out. And here we go, we finished the master casket which was very easy actually. Let's take a look what we get. I see a lot of things. Samurai, Boots of Darkness, Bullwig, I guess three uniques. I mean we'll take it, some collection log slots pop up, no points necessarily but that's alright. I think I'm in the mood for a couple of next skills, maybe like three solos, something like that. There we go, back on solo next. This place burns me out quite quickly, so uh, we get some potions, some rubies. Let's do a few more kills. <laughs> 609 dragon bolts. Alright, that's a good drop. That's a good drop. I guess I can do one more. If you guys do not know, by the way, I have 143kc. Most of these are solos. Solos usually take... Seven eight minutes, so you don't get many of these an hour and this place has been burning me down completely because I'm really here after one item I just want nihil horn and going this many hours without anything can be Let's just call it uh, slightly demotivating, right slightly demotivating, but uh, Let's do a few more kills and then move on to something else a lot of runite ores Which is actually not bad if I want to go for some more giants foundry and more smithing XP air orbs and we're on 145 KC already some air orbs prayer potions We got a fire rune. We got some rubies more diamonds some restores some brews ladies gentlemen It's pretty late, so I have to keep it low But we have 10 more elite caskets So lots of good stuff could happen from this honorable blessing one more elite Okay, I need to be careful because again, I need to not exceed my inventory limit here Okay, master scroll book and that is it 25 elite clue scrolls. Wait. No, that's 80. I need 25 Unique rewards, I think. Okay, we still have six more. Light tuxedo shoes and fury ornament kit. Hold up. That is sick. That's not a unique. Master casket. Okay, I missed master clue scroll, I mean. Uh, dragon cane, another unique. Not bad. And we still have two more. Nothing in this one. And lava dragon mask, another unique. Okay, how many clue scroll uniques do I even have? 21. Okay, so we are trying to get this up to 25. Then we get a bunch of points. I quickly finish this master. Let's see. A bit disappointed, but we'll take it. I was gonna stack up some medium clues, but I got invited to TOA and I cannot pass on the TOA fun. So let's take a look. Get a couple of uniques from the first medium and ooh, climbing boots G on the second medium with red headband. Not too bad. We'll take the collection log slots. Let's get up for TOA and hopefully get some Mazor chaps. Uh, apparently, in that I also completed the fill 40 medium clue collection log slots. And that gave me 200 points, meaning we are now super close to 50,000 points. Can I hit, please? Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see who gets a purple, man. That was, that was crazy. There is a purple. I hope it's mine. I really hope it's not mine, is it? I don't think it's mine. <laughs> it's not mine. Oh. I do get... Oh, it's huge. I got lilies. Honestly, I don't mind it. Three magic seeds, lilies, and dark tips. That's like perfect. He got a fang. I need a fang, but I'm not going to complain with that. That's decent for me. I've been doing just about anything in order to procrastinate the next and TOA grind, but here's six elite caskets, and also I've done the whole day of fishing. Uh, but let's take a look, let's see what do we get. We start off with mostly harmless teleports, alright, nothing too crazy. Moving on to a master clue that's huge, light infinity color kit, it's not a unique. I'm really hoping to get like three more uniques, that will give me 200 points. Uh, but so far, we got the wrong pool there. This is something I'm gonna be interesting into completing though, uh, but let's see. Another master, but nothing there. Ah, there we go. That's pretty good. Black Dehyde Chaps Golden. That uh, should be very close to some points. And Yuri's hat was also unique. That's really solid. We got three more. Start off with... Okay, we're getting masters like crazy. It's pretty good. And Ancient Page is a unique as well. And we got Ranger Ties also. That will definitely be a unique. And that's actually a kind of cool item. Oh, and we did it. Uh, just wait for the pop-up, but uh, looks like we filled 25 elite clue scrolls, so I really don't have a reason to do more at the moment. I'll definitely do more in the future, but these tend to be quite bad. But there it is, that's the 200 points that I was going for, and that basically brings us super close to 50,000 points. Uh, but we open the last one, we get just about nothing. I might go ahead and complete these master clue scrolls if I can. Wait a second, never mind, I... 
used my bandos plate body and made Torva and I don't have a cloak. But do I just drop it or... Wait, I maybe have cloak in my house. Hold up. We, I need to figure out if I can do this. I think Godsword I can... I do have a Bandos Godsword though. But I don't... Do I go... <laughs> do I go back to Bandos? Surely not, right? There we go. I'm back on the next grind. Let's take a look and uh, see if we can get maybe lucky today. I'm probably only gonna do like 3 or 4 kills at a time. Start off with 90 Nihil Shards. Again, pretty huge. We are on 148kc. Not bad at all. Oh my god, back to back Nihil Shards. I'm getting so many of these now. Little bit of uh, late night AFK going on right now. And give it one more. And there it is, the big 50 million. We only get 200 points. I really feel like there should be a milestone for at least like 100 and 200 mil. But anyways, almost 50k points. We take that. Now my next AFK method might actually be AFK mining rune essence. I don't ever need to move, it's completely AFK or stars, we'll see, but uh, I got some options. Or woodcutting, maybe I'll do some woodcutting right now. I can't really do next right now, so I'm just AFKing. Alright, it is morning, let's take a look if we get something. More air orbs, we killed next 150 times, and yeah, not too much to show for it. I mean, we got Vambraces, and we got a Torva body, and we got the Ancient God Sword so far. And most of these have been solos. I am a little bit disappointed over my next luck, not gonna lie. But uh, I'm gonna do maybe a kill or two more, and then I'm gonna go and do some simple tasks that I've been neglecting. And we get uh, Restores and Brews, not the best. Okay, here we go. Another next. Come on, please. I am so depressed. No way I got the third Torva plate body. 152, easily 100 plus solos, and I get three Torva bodies. Like, I, this is all I have to show for it. I guess Zarite Vambris, and I mean, Ancient Hilt is good. This is the rarest drop you can get. Okay, let's see if we can get back to back. Please, game, like, come on. No, we don't. All right. Am I tilted? Yes. Can I do one more? Sure, fuck it, let's do one more. Coal and cannonballs. Some death runes, some prayer potions. Alright, that's enough of next. For now, I'm gonna go do some simple tasks that are very mind-numbing, simply because, well, I don't want to actively play at the moment, so let's get some of those done. I believe this is all I needed from the regular Dagonovs. I'm just gonna do these simple tasks right now because I am kind of in the mood. Okay, so I think if I equip this, this and that... That's equipping full spinned armor set. I, I hope I can throw this in the house. I don't want to alk it. I don't know if it's used for any clue scrolls or anything like that. So just want to throw it somewhere and move on to the skeletal, for example. It appears you can throw it in the house in the armor case. I don't know what it is, but hey, there it is. Spinned armor goes nicely in here. I believe with this cool piece, we have everything we need to create the second set. Shout out to Walasaskis over here. But after this, it's only one left. For the skeletal set, you are supposed to talk to peer the seer we want a helmet i think i need this as well we want some legs and let's equip everything and that's another 80 looking at my points we're over 50,000 right now this looks really good we need 56k for dragon rank and i still didn't do the inferno and i still didn't do the challenges which are all very easy points which we will do at some point when i feel like i need an inferno cape so far i haven't really needed it we're gonna throw all of this into our house and work on the last set <laughs> Yo, Loki on the down low. I hate to be that guy, but I'm 250 kills of these goddamn rock crabs. The drop rate is 1 in 60. Can I just get my gloves and dip or what? Like, that's basically all I need. It's the last drop. I'm not leaving this place till I get the gloves. But, like, this is literally the worst place. You can't even AFK it because these dumbass crabs just started running away. It's so annoying, but anyways, I'm gonna stay here, get those gloves, even though I'm, like, seven times the drop rate right now to get them. And I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do next. We'll figure it out, I guess. Oh, finally. There we go. 322 kill count was needed to obtain the gloves. Let's make it into an armor. All right. And for this one, I believe I need to speak to Mr. Skullgrimen over here to talk about the rock crab armor. Uh, let's take a look. We need a helmet. Yeah, that's a helmet. And we also need to speak to him about a body, I guess. And just like that, we have now equipped every single set of armor. That was, what, 240 points in total. We're up to 50 points. I mean, 50,150 points. Pretty solid. 
Uh, I'll put this in the house and I don't think I'll need Dagonoth Hide anymore. But that's pretty nice. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Ever since I finished my 99 farming grind, I actually forgot completely about farming. But here's my spirit tree that is now fully grown for 308,000 XP. And if we travel with this to the house, I do certainly hope that that's a task that will work. Maybe I need to go from this one, this one to here. Yeah, just like that, 200 extra points on top of that, beautiful. This is us defeating a rune animated whatever this is for 40. I'm just in the mood to complete some simple tasks that I've been like not doing basically. Here is a task that slipped through my fingers. Yeah, I believe if I take all of these out and I wear it, there we go. That's just 80 points that I just, let's just say I forgot about it, yeah? That is us making 20 red berry pies for some easy points and I need to make 100 pies in total, so might as well do that. The only problem about this task is I need to do everything manually and it's a bit annoying, not gonna lie. I have to use like pot of flour or buckets of water, make these, then I need to pick up wheat, make it into pot of flour. It's a bit annoying, but it's, it's some simple tasks that uh, I might as well finish. And that is cooking 100 pies for 80 points as well. And that's making pineapple pizza for 40. So I believe if I just wait a little bit for my vines to ferment, I should be getting a bit of an XP drop, but also, wow, that's 350,000. That is actually a lot. But most importantly, we get this task done to ferment 100 vines. And if this was that much XP, that was super fast. That's crazy. All right. I mean, I also have a lot of Karam ones if I really wanted to go for 50 mil cooking, which I guess I will at some point. And that's using something exotic on a dog. Thank you. 80 points. I don't think I need this anymore. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna attempt to see if I can do further challenges. Obviously, I've never done this past uh, three. I think I've done four, but I've never done... Yeah, I haven't done five, I haven't done six. And obviously, I haven't done the heart challenge. So, I'll attempt it. I don't know if I'm good enough to do it. I don't know if my relics are very good. I mean, I have sustain and the uh, revive one. But uh, let, let's see if I can pull this off. Seems doable, because I don't need to actually kill the healers in order to kill them. So when I just uh, DPS and it works, then it's no problem. I mean, that was five. If I can do five, I think I can do six. The most important thing, I don't actually need to hit the healers. It takes a little bit longer. Like right here, obviously, it's one jet, right? I could just hit the healers. But I want to see how consistently I can just pump damage through and not need to worry about healers. And it seems that it's doable. But like right now, for example, it's much worse than it was before. And there we go. So I did five jets. I'm going to attempt six jets as well. But I need to AFK right now for a little bit. But I'll be back at this place. I didn't expect that I can do five in just one attempt. And obviously that is 200 points for free. Nice. And I'm now up to 25 million woodcutting XP. I think I'm gonna go and try to do the six jets now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, another life. I died with two left because I'm playing on 400 ping and I can't fuck. I'm so. It's so easy, by the way. I can do this, no problem. But like, I'm on world 400, which is the most laggy world I could ever be on. I forgot to swap. I made it all the way till the end and then I fucked up. ICBA. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Shit, it's not going very well. Bro, I did better on ping than I'm doing off ping. What's going on? But what? But is it just me or do they use it at the same time? What? I'm so confused. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to try doing it once on a regular spellbook because I take less damage if I miss uh, on this spellbook is what I'm thinking. So we're just going to try, see if it's any better. Jesus, I'm so shit. Okay, this will be harder than I thought. Sadness. Sadness. 
All right, that was uh, enough of that. I will return to this place, but right now I'm too tilted, I think, because I don't know. I know I can do it, but I'm not doing it. We'll come back to this place. Let's do a little bit of next. I think what I want to do for this video, despite the tilt that I'm currently experiencing, is get one more drop from Nex. Whatever it is, I just want to get one more drop, and then I think it's about time we pause the video, but hopefully... It's gonna be a unique from Nex. Ah, there we go. We are back on Nex. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, never. I'm trolling. Uh, 69 wines of Zami and some prayer pots. All right, not the best. You know what? I'm at the point where I don't even mind doing Nex anymore. It's just kind of... I'm pretty burnt, like, I'm not gonna lie, 157 KC. But, but we'll keep going. We'll keep going. At some point, it's gonna drop. Might be the end of the leagues, but well, hey, at some point we'll get something, right? I'm sure. I absolutely hate this game, bro. Three Zarad Vembraces and three Torva bodies is what we have to show for in these leagues in 158 KC, mostly solos. But the deal is the deal. We're going to be ending the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy and hopefully in the next episode we get a little luckier.